What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Uh, we skipped a couple weekends here for the holidays. Uh, but what we're looking at here is this is that uh, 2021 5.3 uh, LT that we uh, we picked up in that last video. I think we got it. And I was going to strip it down. I ended up stripping it down off camera. But my dad got it painted up uh, a couple days ago, I reckon. And this is that antique nickel. We're really liking this this uh, color. Got some of the parts here to go on it. Uh, intakes over there, and we have some of the accessories. It came down here missing parts, so it's it's not going to be uh, complete when it leaves here today either. But uh, it's getting. I think this is the eight speed. It's getting. We have this uh, iron block six liter LS. So I got to get the uh, balancer pulled off it and. Uh, pull the old cam out um, it came down without any uh, lifter trays so we're gonna have to see if we can find some lifter trays I don't have any here okay so we got the rails on we got the uh, direct injection pump on uh, this motor only came down with uh, four coils so that's what it got put back on it's a four-cylinder now um, and now I got to figure out these 21s are at least this motor is a little bit different with the front accessories so I gotta figure out. Uh, I got some bolts here, but I gotta figure out how this goes back together. I, I took it apart two weeks ago, so uh, try to remember how it goes back together. And then uh, the 21s, also the cam harness or the the, the phaser harness is, is is different. So it's missing. Normally you'd have one other plug right here. All right, go ahead. So this alternator goes on the 21. Yeah, it's 21. Here. And. Uh, Whenever you paint one of these, you want to take the cover off so it looks nice. Right. And splash the cover. You take this off. This is called a heat sink. Look at all that. Look at all that in there. And these, what it does, takes the heat away from it. These diodes that are sitting in here. It's a, it's, for a factory, it's very high tech. Hmm. I wonder what all that does. Uh, alternate your battery. Keep it up to probably 14, 15. At all times. Check this out too. Look at this. These are Bluetooth coils. They're Bluetooth. They're Bluetooth. I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, that's something new. Yep. Okay. Yep. I'm gonna put this stuff back together. Okay. Yeah. We got. I got the front. I got the front back on. It, it wasn't that bad. I gotta put no. the. Uh, this is not bad. First one I've done. Yeah. It's got a few little extra parts, but hey, I'm taking it apart. I can put it back together. There you go. All right. So we got the intake on. Uh, it's underneath here. Uh, got it strung up here. Uh, we have to change this uh, flywheel out. I gotta put that flywheel there on. I got the torque converter already put in the transmission. So while we got it hanging, we're gonna change the flywheel and then go ahead and uh, get the transmission put on. And then we'll be ready to get this one uh, sent down the street. All right, so we got the uh, flywheel swapped out, put the Loctite on it, and we torque those down to 75 foot-pounds. So all we got to do... Oh, turkey's back, everybody. Look at the turkey. Still don't know what he's doing here, but he's here. Oh. All right, there it is, finished up. This is the 2021 5.3 LT. Heading down to the Swap King. Uh, like I always do, his... Uh, links and information will be in the description below if you're interested in this one uh, put your name on it 6210 speed 6210 speed with the what a 2.3 whipple 2.9 whipple my goodness what, what are we what are you doing with this thing test mule it's called the test mule <laughs>
You got mufflers on it already? Why? It's crazy. That's gonna be pretty stupid on the street, ain't it? Okay. Yeah, that thing made a little seven on board. Little short bed work truck. <laughs> All right, so we picked up a Gen 4 6.2 LS. Uh, this one's getting a lot of stuff done, so we're about to get it on a stand here and get it all torn down. So, uh, and then hopefully I'll be able to get the heads on that other LS today too. But yeah, so this is pretty cool. It's, uh, I know it doesn't look too good, but this is all aluminum block. So kind of a rare deal. You don't see too many of these. So it's getting a big cam and uh, the heads are going to a machine shop and getting poured and I think they're going to he said they're going to Texas Speed yeah uh, yeah so these heads are getting sent off to Texas Speed so that'll be pretty cool to get them back and see what they look like but anyway we're gonna get it unloaded and uh, get it on the stand and I'm gonna start tearing it down before we put it on the stand we went ahead and uh, took the uh, rear cover off and then we uh, replaced the seal with a new seal and then we got a new gasket for it um, that way when we put on because once you put on the sand, you can't access the back like this. So uh, we just got still got it hung up right now. So as soon as I get this uh, put back on, we'll get it on the sand. That's clean. Yeah, so far. Look at that. Golly. Yep. For the people that don't know, these are multi, what, multi layer steel head gaskets. Yep. And this is what all the LS's use, all the new LT's use basically the same ones. They are razor sharp. So if you ever mess with some or you know pulling the heads off, putting the heads on, just be careful. They will cut you. We've we've all been cut. Trays look like they're in good shape. Yeah, it's a plus. Because mm -mm. he's gonna get new trays anyway, so with the cam kit. So mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna put these used trays in the metal in the uh, that budget build LS right over there. Right, 
get ready to pull the cam out, but you got to get the front cover off, get the front cover off, and you got to pull them. We busted this loose already. The, the trick to getting this off is just this big D wall, basically. It, it, it's pretty strong. It kind of takes care of it. So, you got this puller. It's almost just like a push rod. It just goes in there and stops on the crank. Then you got a hole in this, and then you just tighten it up. See, it's got a phaser just like the LT. I took the pickup too, Alfred. Okay. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. Off here. There you go. Nice and tight. Very tight. Yep. So, so I think we can continue with the build. Um, guy's got to get his head sent off and uh, get his cam kit and stuff in. Well, since this video is going to be getting pretty long, um, I think we're going to end off. Let's just say like, you know, part, part one for now. Um, and then we'll pick up here in a, uh, for part two uh, for putting the uh, heads and uh, yeah. that Howard cam in this one. So. Just getting a lumpy cam. Yeah, yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to get the cam out and we're gonna have to go to the website and get the specs and stuff, so. So yeah, but that, that'll be in the next video. We'll get these 799 heads on, get this cam in this one. This one will be ready for you to paint. Well. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Subscribe, like, share. If you can't tell, it's like 100 degrees in here. Um, and it's supposed to get down to like, what, 31, 30 tonight? Yep. I don't believe yeah, it. I don't know. It's, it, it is so hot right now. So anyway, have a good one. We'll see you on the next one.